guys welcome back to my channel so today i thought i'd dive into something that we can all relate to and that is getting back into routine like, i've definitely been feeling out of my groove and i thought i would bring you guys along and share what i like to do to just get back into feeling myself it's also just so easy to fall out of my routine and just get lost in the hustle and bustle and light of life and I thought I'd bring you guys along and share a couple things that help me feel grounded, help me feel myself, just help me feel happy. And if you've been trying to figure out what that looks like for you, I hope this video just inspires you or maybe is a little guide for you to kind of experiment with things. Another thing that's been helpful to me, which I think I need to do a whole video on is it worth it, is my aura ring. I recently bought one. My therapist had brought it up a few times and I finally just bit the bullet. It is quite pricey. I've had it for two months now and I will say I'm pleasantly impressed and surprised with how much it's helped me kind of re readjust my lifestyle, readjust how I've been living. The biggest indicator for me is there is a stress part, there's a stress reader and it measures how much time your body has is in like a stress, is in a stressful period. And one time I was traveling and I was stressed for an hour and a half. And I've learned ways to combat that stress or just be more mindful. So the Oura Ring has also helped me just be mindful of my stress levels. It's also helped me sleep better and be mindful of sleep. So there's just a couple things there that have been really inspiring for me to get back into feeling myself. Let's get into this video. Over the next couple days, I'm going to bring you guys along and share just different things that I like to do that make me feel good. It's a whole mind, body, soul thing. So yeah, let's get into it. So one of my favorite things that makes me feel so good and so me is working out. So we are going to go on a run today. The release of just like stress and anxiety that happens after a workout is inexplainable. So if you don't really work out, I hope you get into it for that reason. So I'm excited to get back into it and run. Um, I also have my aura ring, which I talked about. So I love that that calculates what I'm doing and also like my heart rate. I'm gonna throw on these hokas. I've had these sneakers for like four years. So I'm probably due for a new pair, but we'll get there, you know, when I get there. But hokas are my favorite running shoes, especially if you have wide feet, highly recommend. So. Workout sets on, set active, one of my favorite workout brands. Sneakers on. Let's go for this run. All right, so one of the things that is just as important as fitness and working out for me is eating well. When I'm not eating, foods that make me feel good and energized or that are protein based. I am very irritable, moody, and most importantly, my skin breaks out. And I know food is a big contributor to gut health and healing and it can reflect your skin. I was doing so good and then I don't know what happened this summer. So your girl is getting back into her anti-inflammatory diet. I want to feel better. I want to feel energized. It makes me feel good. So let's do a little grocery haul and show you what I got. We stopped by Sprouts and we stopped by Costco because certain things like the butter lettuce. I love butter lettuce and this pack, I think this is $10 when at Whole Foods and stuff, one pack is like six or $7. So I also got Cholula. Another thing I like buying at Costco is Netso butter. Peanuts can trigger acne. So I like something that's almond based and this one has actually cashews, almonds, Brazilian nuts, flax seeds, chia seeds, hazelnuts, pumpkin, and Celtic sea salt, one of my favorites. I like putting this in smoothies. But I've been on an acai bowl kick, so I'm gonna show you an alter not an alternative, but I found out there's sugar-free options, and I like to be mindful of the sugar I have. But I've been really liking it. It's so good with strawberries and blueberries and bananas and some almond butter. So it's a little fun treat. The other thing I like getting at Costco though is tuna. I make a bomb tuna with with red onions and uh, Italian parsley. We got some onions. We got some vegetable broth. This is for Jason, an oat milk brown sugar latte. Another thing I got is this dandelion tea, which is so good just to like reset. 
It's such a great tea for liver and kidney function. I picked up some beans, garbanzo beans, black beans, because there's some recipes that have beans, and I wanted an alternative protein source because I'm trying to lessen my egg consumption, red meat consumption, and chicken consumption because I have a bit of a sensitivity to chicken and eggs. Um, I got an acorn squash because I did find a recipe for a turkey stuffed acorn squash with like ground turkey with celery, cranberries, sage, mushrooms. So I'm gonna make that for dinner one night. Just my favorite almond milk, Khalifa Farms, three ingredient almond milk. Also got some apples. My favorites are Cosmic Crisps. Like I said, lessening the egg consumption. So I got a six pack of eggs. One of my favorites eating more anti-inflammatory is bone broth. It is such an easy way to have protein goes down so nicely it's just so soothing i like to season my bone broth with lemon rosemary ginger turmeric add a little cayenne just so good so love that for breakfast got some hummus we did get some ground beef for a zucchini layered lasagna instead of pasta i'm using ground beef zucchini noodles like sliced like lasagna sheets and then this Kite Hill Ricotta, which is with almond milk. And so it's really yummy. Got some ground turkey. Got some bell peppers, because I saw a recipe for turkey stuffed bell peppers. And just some more veggies. Also my favorite are these Japanese sweet potatoes. I love sweet potatoes for breakfast. I used to get them all the time at Air One. You just roast these salt, pepper, olive oil. They're so yummy. And then last but not least, we got some fish. So like I mentioned, I'm trying to really pay attention to my protein sources and not just eat red meat so now we're going back to what works anti-inflammatory diet meals um and we got some wild caught cod and some wild caught salmon i like the frozen ones just because it's easier in case i don't have to feel obliged to cooking fish that day oh and then we also got some bananas and this cereal is our favorite and we normally get the fruity one but they didn't have it at costco and i highly recommend getting at costco because it's more affordable um, but we're gonna try the chocolate brownie it's like a little sweet treat so that's my grocery haul for you guys feels really good to go grocery shopping it's also way more affordable on our trips so crazy when you're not at home cooking how much money you can spend on food and it's nice to have paid about the same for going to a restaurant for four people one time and paying the same amount for a week and a half full of groceries this is definitely a must have for me feeling good getting back on track feeling energized and back to myself i'm excited to cook i'm excited to enjoy these meals and yeah now let's go the grocery way would share some meals throughout the day that I really enjoy that are super easy to make that are anti-inflammatory full of healthy fats and again just make me feel good sometimes I am craving a little bit more but a lot of times these meals really sustain me and make me feel energized throughout the day and most importantly I'm really trying to work on my gut health let me show you what I do I start with this lemon and olive oil shot super easy to make Olive oil is good for your gut, and the lemon is really detoxifying and good for your liver. So all I do is I squirt a little olive oil on the bottom of my little cup, squeeze a small lemon, and then do a little dash of olive oil at the top. I feel like it's an easy way to enjoy the citrusness of the lemon. And I like citrus sour things, so I really enjoy the shot in the morning. Just make it. I get my little teacup so chic. Do that. Bone broth. Super easy, super yummy. I like to jazz it up and really um, add more flavor with lemon, olive oil, cayenne, ginger, you can add rosemary. And this is just such an easy breakfast for me. I will take it in a mug to go before work when I'm on the go. And it's just so nourishing, goes down so easy, it's full of protein, and it's just super, super yummy. So this has been a great way to get that savory breakfast, but I will show you what I have for lunch. And then I think we might make dinner here or might be on the go but I'll still show you kind of what I do to enjoy really yummy, nourishing, energizing foods. Oh, and I also have a little chai with almond milk that I'm gonna enjoy as well. So 
my quick breakfast. Lunch time, here is a quick little meal that I like doing, something easy, yummy, that is boiling two chickens and making a chicken salad sandwich. I'm gonna do apples, almonds, and red onion. I don't have any Italian parsley, and then I just use, this is the mayo I like, and mustard, salt, and pepper. Super easy and yummy, and then I'll show you what it looks like all done. All right, here's the chicken salad. Look at how much you get with two chicken breasts. It's amazing. So this is Jason's, his is with sandwich bread, and I put raw cheddar in his, and that is gonna go in this container, so you can have it for tomorrow. This is my portion for, this is my portion for tomorrow. This is today's, so easy, so yummy, super fresh. Now I wanna talk to you about self-care. And for years, I thought self-care meant a good face mask. I thought it meant really nice, comfy pajamas, a girly, cutesy thing. I don't know. But for me, it is sleeping, it is meditating, and it's journaling. Very simple, very easy things that I feel like can come off daunting, can come off like, I don't have time for that, but I really suggest making time for it. It's kind of weird in the beginning when you start doing it, but these have been game changer and helping me slow down, helping me feel more calm, at ease with myself. And when you're calm with yourself, I found that I'm happier, I am more creative, I am just way more motivated, and I'm a content creator entrepreneur. There's a lot of things that I love to create, but it does take slowing down. It does take being mindful, it does take being demure, and figuring out what that looks like for you. For me, it starts with going to bed early, and figuring out a time that works for you can be stressful. I would go to bed between 12 and 1, and for some reason, between 10 p.m. and 1 p.m., those were like my in, like inspired creative hours. And then I would like be in the zone and happy. I'm like, oh, I need sleep. And then I would sleep probably five to six hours, wake up tired. Between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m., I just was pushing through. I wasn't feeling good, and I started to go to bed early and it has been so game changer. And that is huge for me because I'm not like straining my brain to get things done. I, I feel like I've noticed when I'm tired, I'm just like really pushing myself, forcing things. So going to bed early, so important for me, but it does take some effort, you guys. It does take practice. It's not easy just like, hey, go to bed, but it is so worth it. And then it becomes routine and then you love it and crave it. And I do love my 5 a.m. morning routines. That's kind of like my calm hour, which leads me into a next must have, and that is meditation. And I love listening to somebody calmly relax me and center me and just really softly help me be more mindful of things. One of my favorite ways to meditate is with Insight Timer app. I highly recommend it. There is a free option, but I do pay $9.99 a month so I can utilize the app more, but it is such a nice way to disconnect. It helps me recenter. It helps me find gratitude in the day. Just helps me be more present with life. And another must have in the morning is journaling. Journaling is so, so good. It's amazing. And I hope you figure out like it works for you too. The biggest thing I've learned in my healing journey is that your feelings are valid and it's so good to just dump them out. And I love journaling for that reason, because it just helps me just dump what I'm holding on to and just look at it a little bit more like broadly and then one more thing i love to do it's a community that i'm part of my friend nicole created rise app and it's such a beautiful resource nicole is an intuitive healer and she was a big part of my healing journey and dealing with grief and the rise app is a community that she's built where we have access to weekly workshops, meditations, and it's just such a great way to stay connected to a community that is constantly evolving and healing and just working on being their best selves. I know it's so easy to get off track, get off your routine of feeling yourself. This is why I created this video to help remind us that there's different ways to stay on track yourself and stay connected with you, but it's also amazing to have a community that helps you stay connected weekly or daily. And I've been listening to this audiobook, and the audiobook's been a really fun daily thing I've been bringing into my morning routine. Hop in the shower, I listen to the audiobook, I listen to it when I get ready. So self-care routines are so unique for everybody, but these things help me feel grounded, feel happier, 
So I just wanted to share those. I hope you guys maybe embrace them because they help me so much and they've just been so game changer. So hope that helps. All right, the most important thing I think that helps me feel grounded myself, just calmer is cleaning. And I'm gonna be honest, cleaning, not my strong suit. I'm an organized mess for sure, but it does take me time because I get a little OCD and I think I'm gonna spread it out. So today we're gonna clean and organize the closet. So I love my closet, but I definitely feel like I'm something that just piles things. It's not insanely messy, it's just definitely a bit cluttered. Um, I did a big decluttering before Europe, so that's amazing. We just have to keep it tidy. So let's get into it. I love when most of the laundry's towels and all my clothes, so almost done. It feels so good already. All right, next thing on the to-do list to get back into me and just feeling good is to organize the office. To be honest, we haven't even unpacked or done anything to this room since moving in. I haven't really been doing a lot of work in here because when I come in here, I'm just not relaxed, not calm. I can't be creative because it's messy. I know it's gonna make me feel so good and just energized and create this space that I can create and do my work and be organized and shut my brain off when I'm done. And this is what it's looking like. I try to do work in between the piles that I make and it's just not working. So I know this declutter is gonna help us so much. And I think we're gonna bring in some furniture. Yeah, it's pretty bad. So we're gonna work on this today. It's gonna feel so good to clean and organize and it's just gonna be so nice for the week and just to have this decluttered and reset to get back into feeling good and creating because I would love to decorate this space over the next couple months. That's my goal. I'd love to furnish our house by the new year. So it's gonna start today, or actually I know it's gonna start today. So let's get to putting crap away and organizing and unpacking boxes still. I'm on my way to work. I'm feeling so good and energized. My makeup's not done because I'm actually getting my hair makeup done with Swatchkoff. I don't know why it's so hard for me to pronunciate, but I have an amazing collab with them. And I'm just so glad I reset myself for the week because being around others, being on camera, it takes a lot of energy. So I feel really good. I did wake up with a nightmare. It wasn't a nightmare, but I was just like grieving my dad in my dream, which was really heavy. So I woke up just like feeling really sad, did cry a little bit, and then got my mind right, meditated, and it really does help. So for work, I am, you know, dialed in, I'm focused, I'm just ready to be my best self. So I hope you guys liked this vlog. I'll see if I can bring you guys along, get some quick little behind the scenes snaps for you guys. Um, but I hope you guys took some tidbits, and I'm really excited to kind of get back into myself be more me, share that with you guys. Let me know some of your ways that help you get ready for the week and just like get back to feeling good and yourself. Cause I'd like to know, I'm always evolving and I love learning new things. So I will let you guys go, but I will definitely bring you guys along today 